Hi, my name is Adrian with Sky Recording Studio. Today I would like to show you a cool little Cubase trick that doesn't seem to be covered much, but I find it very helpful in everyday work in the studio with Steinberg Cubase DAW. In Cubase, as you probably know, you can add a picture to each track so it's easier to see the tracks while editing or mixing. I have found this feature very helpful, especially when working with larger projects that have multiple instruments that are similar. Along with the track color, this feature helps tremendously to quickly locate a track, especially when working with a high count track project. Let me give you an example. In this project, we have multiple kick tracks, snare tracks, hi-hats, cymbals, basses, and so on. You can now instantly identify any track in your project by adding a picture to each track, making it much easier to edit and mix, especially for larger projects. Adding a color to each track can also help locate the tracks in a limited way. Usually the color will identify the type of tracks in a mix. In this case, I have the drums red, bass is green and guitars are blue. By double clicking in a space above the fader, you can add a picture to a track. Unfortunately, there are only a limited number of monochrome pictures available that come with Cubase. However, there is a way to add your own. As you can see, I added custom pictures for each track in this project, and today I am going to show you exactly how to do the same to your own projects in Cubase. To edit the pictures, I'm using Adobe Photoshop, but the same can be accomplished with any picture editing software on either Mac or PC. You can add custom images to audio, MIDI, instrument tracks or group and effect tracks. You can't add images to input or output tracks. The best way to do this is to find cut images with a PNG extension. This is a PNG image that I found online. I like it because it shows the snare with the drumstick, giving it the impression of a snappy attack snare. This is what I was going for here. I edited this image size to be about 800 pixels wide and about 680 pixels tall but the size is not standard. The best results are going to be pictures between 500 and 1000 pixels. Once the picture is edited, it can be saved to the computer. I made a special folder called Icons, where I save all my custom Cubase images. Let's name this one Snappy Snare. As a side note, in order to achieve this, it is not necessary to edit the picture. It doesn't have to be a PNG cropped image either. It can be any image. However, I found that using an edited PNG picture gave the best results. Once I have the picture saved in a preferred location, I will now import it into Cubase. Going back to the Cubase Mix window, double click the image area above the track fader. This will open a window showing the Cubase standard monochrome icons. I will now select the user tab in the top left corner. A new window will appear showing all custom icons that I have previously imported. I will now click the import button located in the top right corner. A new window will appear. I'm going to locate and select the icons folder where I just saved a new picture. Once selected, I press the open button at the right bottom corner and here it is. At this point, just clicking OK in the bottom right corner will close the window. But before I do that, there are a few more options worth considering. In the right preview tab, there is a larger view of the image. Under the image, there are a few options where the picture intensity, zoom and rotation can be altered. Also the track color can be changed here. Returning to the mix window, the new track picture is here in all its splendor. Now the picture shows the snappy snare, so when I need to adjust the snare, there will be a quick visual image to help me find the right track in a snap. This is all from me today. I hope this tutorial was helpful and easy to follow. If you would like me to do more tutorials like this, or if you have any other Cubase related question, please join my Cubase Home Studio group on Facebook.